Hi, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to also share, like, and comment. It was a volatile area just a few years ago. But I was very happy to see members campaigning from all political parties and laughing, joking. Then they go and campaign to the voters. That's how it should be. There's more political space now than ever before. Madam Speaker, the number of citizens who received legal aid services in 2023 was 31,556 across the country. Madam Speaker, further, to further promote equity and human dignity, the new dawn UPND government administration has continued to implement various social protection programs. This includes social cash transfer, shock responsible social protection, shock such as drought, emergency cash transfer, and the food security pack. The shock response social protection program aims to caution the beneficiaries of the social cash transfer from the negative effects of climate change, as I said, especially the current drought. In addition, we continue to provide vulnerable but viable households with farming inputs under the Food Security Pact program. We would like feedback, Madam Speaker, from the members of Parliament. What's up? My name is Ken Dumbo, the MC with the source. Don't forget to subscribe to JQ. We can better what we're doing for the people. Madam Speaker, overcrowding in correctional facilities remains a source of concern to government. The current inmate population in the country is over 25,000 against the holding capacity of 10,650. To address overcrowding in correctional facilities, Madam Speaker, government is expanding open air correctional centers across the country. The open air correctional facilities, for example, in Dansanga, in Mwembeshi, and Mwomboshi, two different places, Mwembeshi and Mwomboshi, have been expanded, creating an additional holding capacity to accommodate over 3,000 inmates. Madam Speaker, government is also promoting the imposition of non-custodial sentences for minor offenses and the continued granting of police bond to decongest police cells and bail on flexible conditions, not asking for sureties who are civil servants, as it used to be. You don't need a surety who is a civil servant now. The civil servants will be scared of being sureties. So this is now liberal and all bailable offenses. And I insist, some people seated in this room know I talk to them regularly that when a matter is bondable, give bond. A matter is bailable, give bail. There's no issue about that. No issue about that. Good governance and integrity. Madam Speaker, Madam Speaker, we are committed to and will continue maintaining law and order in our country, as this is important for social order and economic development. We therefore thank our citizens across the country for maintaining peace this far. We particularly thank our citizens in areas where we have had by-elections since the August 2021 elections. For the peaceful atmosphere exhibited so far. It was gratifying, Madam Speaker, to see members of opposing political parties freely mingling Madam Speaker, it was gratifying to see members of opposing political parties freely mingling during their campaigns, including in Shuangandu of Muchinga province, which was a volatile area just a few years ago. But I was very happy to see members campaigning from all political parties and laughing, joking. Then they go and campaign to the voters. That's how it should be. There's more political space now than ever before. Yeah. Madam Speaker, 
may we also take this opportunity to thank our women and youth across the country for turning out in huge numbers to commemorate their days, yeah. Women's Day and Youth Day. Yeah. And all political parties who wish to participate were there. What a joy. Yeah. That's how the country should be. Yeah. And we should not allow to regress. We should not go back to the dark days. We must improve. We can do more, but we should do more together yeah. in this direction. It's the correct direction. Madam Speaker, we remain firmly committed to upholding the tenets of good governance and integrity. Our resolve is to underscore, is underscored by the measures we've instituted in the fight against corruption and maladministration. Madam Speaker, we are making progress in our fight against corruption to strengthen collaboration and efficiency among law enforcement agencies, government established the Asset Recovery Interagency Coordination Framework in 2023. Through this framework, millions of kwacha, I must say, Madam Speaker, millions of kwacha, maybe some members of our community, our country do not know, but millions of kwacha in movable, non-movable assets, including cash, have been recovered. Maybe we are not doing well in reporting. We should report transparent and open and more and more frequent. Government has also strengthened the legal framework on the management of forfeited assets through the issuance of statutory instrument number 13 of 2023. Madam Speaker, we share the concerns and frustrations by our people over the delayed disposal of cases related to corruption and financial and economic crimes. To address this concern, government has issued statutory instrument number 10 of 2024 to provide for speedy disposal of such cases. Justice delayed, justice denied. In this fight against corruption, we are encouraged by the fact that our people and other stakeholders are beginning to acknowledge the impact of these efforts. This is evident in the improved score and ranking on the recent Transparency International Corruption Perception Index. Again, independent body. We have nothing to do with that body, but their results are open. For We will surely continue with our efforts for more tangible and lasting results. And Madam Speaker, these changes are good for the accused. These changes are good for society, for the prosecutors as well because we need to discharge these cases quickly but fairly. I want to repeat, Madam Speaker, what I've said several times. No one should be arrested before an investigation is done. If the investigation is not done, leave people alone. What's up? My name is Ken Dumbo, the MC with the sauce. Don't forget to subscribe to Jayku. And continue with your investigation. And when you have the evidence, you arrest then bond. Ten hours you arrest, 14 hours bond. <laughs> Madam Speaker, if the matter is not bondable, 10 hours you arrest, 14.30 you are in court, and bail must be granted. I said that already. This is not a joke. This is serious. And then prosecute quickly. And we get on with our lives. Thank you. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, J Cool, and turn on the notification bell. Cause I'm gonna see you in the next video.